I couldn't, I gotta put me up there, right? I can't just sit there, <laughs> wait a minute, hold on, I'm explaining. I'm gonna explain, I'm explaining. I'm explaining. I can't sit there and say to you guys, oh, you, 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 you. I've made some really ridiculous decisions in my life. Bad. 2003 came here, 2007 graduated. Um, so when I retired from the NFL, I said, what do I wanna do? I wanna be a motivational speaker. I wanna educate, I wanna share. So I wrote a book. Comes out next week. Wrote a book. I'm excited about it. But the audience for this book is middle school and high school kids. So I'm promoting education, no drugs, no alcohol, listen to your parents, dreams, aspirations, so on and so forth. But I got a picture on Facebook. I'm chilling with a drink in my hand. By the way, I'm telling on myself because I'm 19 years old in Las Vegas with a drink in my hand. And you have to be how old to drink? So that was dumb of me. Then I then I come back then I come back with another photo like oh he teach he teach kids right Thomas he's, he's all about teaching the kids he got a book he's teaching kids right back to the drinks right back to the drinks the watch is sweet though right I like that watch that's my favorite watch but I'm in the club right I'm as you say Tuan turn up look at everybody's there she. she Girl in the back, she got her hands in the air, she's having a good time. Then I'm back again, drinking the hand. But what I want to point out about this picture, this is Reg, orange, he got an orange uh, bottle cap. So he's drinking Gatorade. I'm drinking a drink, an adult beverage. This is three days before the Orange Bowl. There's no difference that this guy's still playing in the NFL, and I'm not. He doesn't, he doesn't need a drink. His alcohol and his influence, under the influence, is coming from success. But then I go to the other picture, it's like, oh, Thomas is talking to the kids. But wait a minute. <laughs> which, which one are you doing, Thomas? Be consistent. Be consistently good or consistently bad? Oh, he loves the kids, though. So if I go right now and I say, hey, I want you to buy this book. Uh, uh, Principal, athletic director, moms and dads. You need to buy this book. This is going to talk to your kids. You know what the first thing you're going to do? You're going to go online. You're like, ooh, we got a book and we got the drink. So I don't want somebody to tell my kid about how to live their life when he's living his life this way. Because it doesn't add up. DJ, if you tell me to work as hard as I can at something and I see you working and I don't see you working as hard as you can, does your word matter? No. <clears throat> because it's what you do as opposed to what you say, right? Yes. 